and we're back to Mass Effect 2. Hello. Ran and Dark, one by one, helping squad, squad mates with their emotional baggage. Well, you know, saving the galaxy and getting distracted by every little thing. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> <coughs> You're alive from mom. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I have to find out my child is alive, third hand from the Alliance Brass. Where the hell have you been? I figure whatever you're doing is classified, likely part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there and keep doing your mom proud. And sneak something through a secure channel next time. Love, your mother, Captain Hannah. <laughs> next time Oops. you're, you know, presumed there. So sorry about that. <coughs> From Shaira. You remember her, right? Yeah, actually I remember her. That's because we only made one concert. Yeah. Commander. I thought my gift of words had been incorrect. An embarrassing motion, notion. But my contacts tell me you are, that you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested. But now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well. Now what do you think that means? But we need to get everyone's loyalty. Yeah, might be helpful. Okay. You and Garrus are alive. From Dr. Michelle. You remember her as well, right? Yeah, she was our <laughs> ship doctor, right? No, that's Dr. Chakwas. Oh. Michelle right. is the one we when we recruited Garrus at. Oh, uh, yeah. You remember? The one that he, he Could, technically saved by... By nearly shooting her in the head, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Commander Shepard. I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I'd, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again, by chan any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he, fo that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him, or both of you if we could come by next time you're on the Citadel. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't find her. Yeah. Can She's you talk to Garros about them? <laughs> probably not. Speaking of which, we should probably go down and talk to Kasumi. Yeah, and everyone drink. She does. Uh, uh, Michelle does appear in the third game, though. Nice. And I think you'll like what, what Kasumi's done with the place. Hmm. Get it. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, she's kind of got a nice setup here. The personal bag. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. <laughs> I really appreciate your help with the Hawkeyes. I've been going through Keiji's gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. <laughs> That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. That's adorable. Yeah, nice look, though. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. <laughs> there was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum <laughs> job. 
Nowhere near the last. <laughs> the Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. <laughs> that painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. <laughs> nice. Yeah. She's a good character. I like it. Yeah. I, I like that a lot of these characters return. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go have a Did talk. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. What could go wrong, right? The right information has been provided. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs> you really came through. Correction? Asari are not aquatic. Yeah. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Upgrade have you got any yourself. upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh my! As a matter of fact, we can upgrade to Normandy. A Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydrodynamic cannon is now installed in Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Good. Seems seems it useful. Let's take it. it sounds like we're going to need it. Probably. And the Panoint, uh, I would just close the mic. Yeah, well. Following the I guess we can assist the Logis from the Panoint volunteers conducted a massive yeah. three month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. The Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. Yeah, says, that's, um, he says 15, but it says 5 here. Whoops. Yeah, that so. yeah, that's some firepower. Yeah. Yeah, and that little detail. The beam Sovereign fires isn't even a beam. It's a stream of liquid. Cool. Very hot liquid, but liquid. Uh, as <laughs> Bonus health, weapon damage, storm speed, and of course Paragon Renegade and power damage. Focus. With a focus on uh health. Well actually not focus on health. What is what's the difference? More health, less it's weapon damage. So commando it's focuses on weapon damage. But then again that plus one hundred percent paragon renegade. Oh, yeah, we should probably go with that. Oh, I'm absolutely taking that. Oh, I love the paragon. Like hey, we need to, hey, we need to fill this bar up. Yep. 
And yeah. What is not maxing out everything? <laughs> and yeah, uh, that's the particle cannon installed, so we've got the weapons upgrade. What's the method upgrade? Uh, that just lets you get the cosmetic uh, surgery. Oh. Not necessary. Well, I'm sure we'll get, we will get all the other upgrades available. Mm hmm. I still quite a bit there. <laughs> it happens. I would go with recruiting the convict or recruiting the Krogan, simply because if we go towards Ilium, we're gonna be we're probably gonna be staying there a while. Krogan, Warlord Okir, it is. A garbage scowl with a climate was how one Citadel Council member described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since, <clears throat> since then, the Cor Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it the Recycling Center of the Galaxy. Corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it's still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel advisory. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in determinist systems, and first in off-world murder. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. And it's estimated to have three billion eight hundred million people. That's despite the high. <laughs> and that's despite the murder rate. Yeah. Note: even the capital is disputed. Nobody knows where the actual capital is. Well. Good thing we're not looking for the capital. Yeah, fair enough. Now let's see. Yep, Kasumi. And now she's got a red outfit. <coughs> now who should we bring with us? Uh, didn't get much out of Motherboard last time. Out of what? Morden? Yeah. yeah. And... I'm thinking Garrus or Miranda. Why we're not bringing Kasumi immediately? Mm, not for this one. This is going to be combat heavy. Oh, okay. Then... Well, we brought Garrus last time, so... Miranda? Actually, no, no, playing Garrus. Playing who? Go, oh, Garrus. Okay. Let's go. Locust, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. At least I'm not quite as indecisive as I can. <laughs> the dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Recorded. Yeah, heavy combat in the end. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. <laughs> I find it funny that I, ha that I have a SMG equipped during that scene, even though I physically can't equip one. <laughs> Whatever. Garrus. Snipe. Not, diffi it. not difficult. Clean hit. <laughs> Gee, oh. shut up. Stop screaming. 
Just like that. <laughs> Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're Mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking... Son of a bitch. I, I just... I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What's Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. <laughs> they aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? You know, uh, I know someone would be upset at that. You know, we've heard of this whole uh, Krogan army stick before, haven't we? Mm hmm. Didn't work out the last time either. Is Jador's lab mm -hmm. heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Well, that's all the information I needed. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, <coughs> shit. Oh. I'm pretty sure he had that coming. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. I mean, Gareth said it himself. It's actually not that bad. Stay sharp. Yeah. We <clears throat> just made him think he was the. Best. Yeah. So you know, in like an hour, he's gonna notice. Nice hey, I'm not dead yet. I love this ride. Then he's probably gonna be feeling real dumb. Hey, look on the bright side. She might actually survive the day. A lot of dead Krogan in there. Man, could you stop flailing? Yeah, <laughs> recover getting in my way. Come on. Are you dead? I guess so. Shotgun, pistol. Fuck off. Just to be sure. You 
don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Night cycles? Seven days? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread... to kill. No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program? Trying to escape genophage effects? Escape? Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. Oops, I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okira expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain. Likely irrelevant. Appears Okir has had no success. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Control group. Failed test. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Well, he knows one thing. He's not perfect. He's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no one is. Someone really out of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means. But I have heard it many times. Well, clearly you were not taught to think much of it. Hmm. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run, tried to fight your way back to the lab. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Mm -hmm. Curious. Maybe. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay short. Free credits. He's less pleasant than the last one. Get ready to fight. I love this pistol. Me. <laughs> we both have to reload at the same time. So. Anything up here? Ammo. Ammo's useful. 
considering that this rifle only has an ammo cap of 64, what do you think? <clears throat> has a high punch, but a low ammo capacity. Which makes it a bad weapon for me, but oh well. Coming through. Not down there, that's for sure. <laughs> Leaving you out to dry, that's where. This looks interesting. <clears throat> Anything else? No. Fire in the hole! Yeah, I just saw that coming. hand cannon. Give me your money. Thank you. Oh, sounds like up here is the side of these done working here. Okay, whatever that is. Uh oh. Like, Morgan, could you please stop blocking my line of sight? <laughs> yeah. Fighting Mercs is actually a good chunk of the non-story content here. Yeah, I just hadn't realized they were an interplanetary. Oh, yeah. I don't think they appreciate our visit. I wonder why. Double kill. Yeah. Almost a perfect lineup. I hate it when they stagger unexpectedly. It's all about her. Listen, guys, if y'all haven't figured out you're working for a really bad boss, I can't help y'all. Never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. I guess the problem was also, you know, the problem. Yeah. Angry Krogan tend to be a problem. Mm hmm. There's three of them! Yes, only three of us. 
Could have pushed more. I kind of treat uh, heavy weapons with a horde like a dragon mentality. When I see that. That time. It doesn't matter. Oh, I've got some coming in. There we go. Aim, damn it, Shepard. Wasted the entire drill on my chair. Man, I love barrier. Come on, peek me. The dog bird is going nowhere. She's not very bright, is she? I would say so. She's simply putting a. Shepard, don't they shoot. Can't I know see you. me. I know they you. Can't see them. Yeah, we know her. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Rana Panoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's... Oh, uh, yeah! Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Hmm. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> Should have killed her. Too much knowledge without ethical boundaries. Tempting as it might have been. Uh, maybe she can actually do some good. Hey, hey! I've watched your progress. Found you. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepard is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. 
I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's Pale Horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my reject for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. Personal issues irrelevant. Here for the collectors. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still <clears throat> bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. Um, what did you get from the Collector? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. <coughs> hey then. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Hey then. This indeed the Krogan way. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay. And do what must be done. Uh, wrong cover. The first. Nope. We upgrade. Probably upgrade him once we actually get back to Normandy. Nice. Charming. Max and Oh sh Miss me. Miss me. Meanwhile that hurt a bit more. Yeah. Thank you. 
no? Shields, ammo. At this point, aim doesn't even matter, it's so big. I guess the game is basically just three cut first. Alarms in laboratory. Shepard, the lab alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins and occurs contamination detected. Emergency vent in progress. Welp. He was kind of the one we were here for. At least he lived long enough to... Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? Delusional. Unlikely perfect. one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. And almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No. But Krogan, genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well, have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. <laughs> That's a word. I had someone for it, all right. Oh. Cloning hey, facility no, destroyed. No. Okir dead, but his son recovered. Loss of Okir would be a problem. We'll allow Shepard to decide whether to activate the Krogan. But I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. That's the fun part. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo holds safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Well then, shall we go greet our new guest? Of course. It was even a question with it. we were gonna uh, wait in him. Oh wait, this is the one Zaid is isn't, isn't it? Yeah. I tell just by looking at the windows. That's bad. All right, big guy. Let's see what your deal is. Subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, <laughs> He's I don't a Krogan. have data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, yeah. not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Well, time to pop the hatch. Stand by. Yep. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Indeed. Alright then. We 
wakey wakey. That's why I make it now. Does it mean we won't win getting rings in this? Because I like rings. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, O'Kir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Mm. Mm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw Reed. <laughs> huh? uh. Holding a gun to his gut the whole time. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. <laughs> so, Krogan, that's a compliment. Yeah. So our Krogan uh, for this game is named Grunt. By his own choice, too. Yep. <laughs> also, he's a little shorter than other Krogan, isn't he? Yeah, not that you mention it. Definitely didn't look shorter when we. But I mean, it makes but sense. He's fresh. Yeah. Like uh, you know, you notice his head. It doesn't have that big ridge like Rex's had. Mm -hmm. Which can only mean one thing. He's juvenile. Yeah, he's seven days old. What? We don't know how long it took to breed grunts, so... No, something like that. Technically, if we want to go by, by the um, Krogan app that we met earlier, he's zero days old. Yeah, good point. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. So, how's it, how's it make you feel knowing that we have a uh, teenage Krogan down in the cargo hold? Couldn't possibly go wrong, right? Right. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports prefer Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Wow. Is there anything I should know? She did not say something positive for a change. Anything else, Commander? Because she doesn't know. That'll be all. Fair enough. If you need anything. Almost everything else she has, well, everyone else she has a psych report for. Yeah, I mean, it technically wasn't negative either. It was. It I am. Oh. From the elusive man. I see you've awakened Okir's Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collective technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you're in charge. Ever the pragmatist, I guess. Yeah. Well, we still have more stuff to do, but we can handle that later. Yeah, it's... Quite a bit has happened already. You could say. Well, that's that for today. And we'll be back yep. next time. Bye-bye.